Fred Ricciani here for the SportsCourier.com post fight at World Series of Fighting 2 with the victorious man right here, Marlon Moraes. I didn't call you Morales. Thank you, man. I'm here. I'm happy. Whatever you guys need, I'm here. Now, before we talk about your huge win over Tyson Nam, you were telling me that some people actually have the gall to call you Morales? Yeah, some guys call me Morales, but no problem. I'm cool. <laughs> Yeah, I, I would not mess with him. But anyway, he had a huge knockout win over Tyson Nam, guy that was heavily hyped, had a big win over Eduardo Dantes. You kind of shut all those people up that were picking against you with the vicious head kick, some awesome shots on the ground. What was going through your mind when your hand was raised? Man, a lot of things, man. I'm working since December, and, man, this is my day, you know. Uh, God saw how hard I work. And I do deserve this, man. I work it so hard. Uh, I mean, you had the upset over Torres, and you were coming into this fight with a, a lot of momentum. And I feel like everybody was just talking about Nam in that in that one fight with with, with Dante. So I'm thinking, okay, well, this you know this young man right here has been on a bit of a roll. Do you feel like you were overlooked coming into this fight? Yeah, I was the underdog for sure, man. The guy's is on the top ten in the world. He beats Eduardo Dante by knock by way of knockout. Sometimes. Sometimes people think, oh, he knocked the guy out. But when you see a decision, you can see the guy fighting for like 15 minutes, you know. And when you knock somebody out like that, sometimes it could be luck. But I don't think it was luck, you know. He's a tough guy. But, man, I'm here. I worked hard. And I did, you know. I won. Were you surprised at how quickly you put him away? Yeah, I was waiting for three rounds. Yeah, he's a, he's a tough guy. Now, who would you like to fight next? Because you did mention you wanted to be in the title picture. We should note there is no WSOF titles yet, but they have talked about it. Who would you like to fight next for, perhaps, the vacant title? Man, I'm here. I'm working for the organization. Whatever they want me to do, I'm going to do, you know. I'm not looking after names. I'm just looking after my weakness. I want to get, I want to get better, better and better, and come here next time and show a great show for you guys again. Now you said your weaknesses. What do you feel like is your biggest weakness right now, to be honest with yourself? Everything, man. Everything. I have to, to get better at everything. I have a lot of things to get better. Now you're one of the young, promising stars, especially for World Series of Fighting. Not a guy that really came from a UFC or a Pride or Strike Force background. Really one of their, kind of like their homegrown stars in these early stages. What's this ride been like for you getting this national exposure on NBC Sports, being some big names? I'm so happy, you know. I'm the baby of the company, you know. They, 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 they are going to grow, and I'm going to grow. We are together. That's great. That's great. And before we go, where can fans find you online? Because I'm sure they'd like to know a little more about you after these big wins. You guys can follow me on Twitter. It's at I'm sorry. M. Marlon Moraes. At M. Marlon Moraes on Twitter. And you guys can follow me on my fan page, Marlon Moraes. Thank you so much, and I appreciate staying here with you guys. Well, man, thank you so much for the time. Thank you.